Somehow associated with Orlando, but we'll yeah. talk to Billy Gardell in a little bit. Welcome back to the Monsters. I'm Russ Rollins, along with Ryan and Carlos and Angel and Savannah here with us today. And we have the Queen of Versailles, Jackie Siegel, with us. And it's always good to see you. We uh, love you. And you and you and uh, you and Savannah have become very, very close friends. That's my friend. Now, how, that is my friend. How did that start, oh, Jackie? How, how did you How did you ever meet Savannah? How did you guys become uh, uh, you know, close? Well, I think uh, well, we've been I've known each other over the years, but uh, we became really close this past year when I was shooting a follow up to the documentary for the TV show, The Queen of Versailles Reigns Again, that's on Discovery Plus, uh-huh. and I was in the quest to find flamingos. For Versailles. Yeah. And I heard that Gator Land's not only just gators, but they also have many, many exotic birds. Right. And flamingos. Yes. And I went and I reached out to Savannah. Yeah. And we actually filmed there. And um, I discovered a lot of other kinds of birds, too, like the kookaburros. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, the, this is like the, very the, the big deal. <laughs> I think I'll bite your finger so, off so, in my experience. So you went to Gatorland to, to, to find out how you could buy flamingos? Yeah, or? I was going to go shopping there for flamingos. Oh, <laughs> yeah. All right, shopping. Okay, that makes sense. The math does check out on that. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. So when you went shopping for flamingos, then you run into Savannah. And did, yeah. she, did she tell you, like, here's a here's a flamingo that's $27? Like, like, did you? Did you <laughs> yeah, to, yeah, yeah. We just hung out that day because yeah. I was kind of filming behind the scenes for behind the scenes uh-huh. of what they were doing that day. Thirty. <laughs> <laughs> I got a flamingo <laughs> guy. And uh, and and so then, like, when you did your premiere of Versailles, like, we went to the place, and then I met some of her friends there, and we just had the best day there ever. So, Jackie, when you met Savannah, did you say, "Oh, you've got to be on this show" because you're you know kind of wacky like me? Did you? Did I, I absolutely did. I know what you know what she really did, which is funny, and I don't even know if you remember. Like, so all of her. Like, because she has obviously very wealthy friends in her circle. Uh So when they did the first walkthrough down the red carpet to meet her and she was in her dress with her crown, when they did the first walkthrough, I was kind of at the back because I had busted out of my dress that morning. So I had to wear a different one. So then once they did the first walkthrough, she had the producers change it so that I was at the beginning instead of the other people. (laughs) And I think they were super offended Uh to the point that they all of a sudden were like, so who are you? And oh, I was like, no. oh, I'm Savannah. And they were like, and and what is it that you do? Like, mm, and I was like, oh, I, really? I train alligators Uh-oh. and crocodiles. And they were just like, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> I was told you were a flamingo salesman. <laughs> so, so Jackie, like, yeah. Savannah doesn't fit into, like, your normal crowd of people you hang out with, does she? I mean, is, I mean, does she kind of fit with your friends? Well, I don't know if I fit in with the, my normal crowd of people. Oh. You know? See, that's what so, uh, I think everybody doesn't know, because I've seen video of Jackie getting chased by a buffalo. Uh-huh. Like, and I don't think any of her other friends have gotten chased by a buffalo. At, no, at our, at our like, river for ranch. real, a buffalo. Oh, I love the river ranch. Yeah, isn't that great? Yeah, yeah, I was out there last a couple years ago it was really nice oh you got to come back um and i'm thinking about shooting another show there separate from from the versailles show Uh um about i want to get giraffes as well as not only flamingos of course yeah (laughs) (laughs) you're in luck i'm a giraffe salesman i gotta get (laughs) (laughs) i'm willing to stick my neck out for you i got a good deal (laughs) let me know if you get a i love silverback gorillas let me know if you get a silverback gorilla those are cool no no I'll, i'll if i do find one i'll 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 send them your way. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little scared of that. I'll well, stick to flamingos and giraffes. Mm, and we'll name him Russ. Uh, yes, uh, Carlos, question for the queen of Versailles, J- uh, Jackie Siegel. Hello, queen. I am the king of the land, <laughs> and it is good to meet you via this uh, apparatus here. But I have questions about you, my dear. Yes. You are known throughout the land, the seven kingdoms, of uh, being a very uh, virtuous and uh, delightful and giving queen. But I do have questions about money. In, the, in, in all honesty, I do, and, and I say this in all right. I, as a common man, a common king of the land, <laughs> yeah, so, oh, geez. A I must check my charter. I must check my, my how many cattle I have, how many things. How do you honestly <laughs> check your bank account? Yeah, do, do, yeah, yeah, like, do, uh, like do, in a, in a, well, hold on, hold on. Like, in all honesty. Like, well, do you all, check your? Or you're not, do you check it on your app? Do you ever think about it? Like, what is you your got money? My, my assistant <laughs> checks my bank account. Actually, um, I'm not that like savvy. Yeah. As far as going online, I don't even do my own emails. Yeah. That doesn't surprise does that. me. That but, doesn't uh, surprise me. But, but I'm not in a bad way because you're a billionaire. So I mean, these are things that happen. Well, when I don't you, know when if I really get... am. No. But my uh, husband is. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> so, 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 you, know, you don't understand. <laughs> 
<laughs> at what point did you get to where you like didn't yeah. really think about money anymore? Because when you were right. younger, you you come from humble beginnings, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You have a really interesting take on that, Jack. It's not like you came from money and then you had money all the time. That's a different. That's why I asked you, in all honesty, because we are all concerned. As much as people don't want, I don't think about money. Hey, look, man, I got to pay my bills. I got to make sure I got some in the bank. I got to make sure all this stuff. You have a very different perspective that very, very few people have. So in all honesty, could you explain kind of well, what keep, is money to you? Well, what you have to keep in mind is I am my husband's third wife. Okay. okay? And he's been burned twice before. Right. Okay. And um, he's very careful and his attorneys make sure that that's not going to happen again. Sure. And, okay. and he's also um, very Jewish and, and um <laughs> You know, um, no, which Jewish people hold on to their money. Right. And this you is, said this it, not me. This is true. I mean, well, I'm either. Jewish, too. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, cool. I mean, you can say that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. so, um, and, um, yeah, he keeps, like, some checks and balances and stuff. But when it comes to Versailles, um, we actually have, he's got one of his, um, um, like, accountants that kind of does all the approvals. Right. So I pick out what I like, and the accountant says, um, well, like the accountant's been asking me for a budget. Yeah. And my husband, I told my husband, I can't work on a budget and finish Versailles. Yeah. Because... That's what my wife says to so, me too, and then so, I laugh so, in her face. Let's say, so, let's say you go you go to Gatorland and you're like, I, I'm going to buy 27, uh, you know, flamingos, and it's going to be twenty thousand dollars. Can you just buy those, or do you have to have? Uh, do you, you have to go to your husband? And say, if, hey. if if they take credit cards. Oh. So if they got credit cards, then you're good. Yeah. Uh, but but if you have to pay like a check or something, yeah. you got to go talk to the husband yeah then i have to get like an approval for that that amount well and here's um, here's something interesting like every interesting. time i go to every time i go to jackie's so so here's jackie right and then there's this orbit that surrounds her everywhere she goes like everything is always going on all the time Russ has like that everything too. is moving everything is happening in exactly. the moment like all the time and so like the only time that i ever like have alone time to talk to her is when we go outside at the very end. Right. right? And yeah. then we have these great long conversations. But the rest of it is just like there's people coming and going and you don't know who they are. Mm. Like it could be the king of some other country and you're just like, hey, what's king up? Of the line. That, that person <laughs> comes and that person goes and like it's this crazy like solar system that well, revolves we around We were going to take you to go see the um, the king of Malta yes. a couple of months ago, but you were Ooh, in I Australia. I love his drink. Yes, it's a delicious was, beverage. <laughs> the queen so, of Malta. I was in Australia, but I was going to go see the king of Malta. So that's, yeah. that's at his palace. So uh, we were talking about you heard you heard you just heard something about a dog and you ran out and you got your puppy and probably, yes. probably now, <laughs> now I remember from the this was you know the the first movie or whatever first documentary you all had all kinds of dogs. How many, many dogs do you have now and and do you have a, a favorite one? Well, as far as a week and a half ago, we had six dogs and then one of my friends called me from um, Phoenix, Arizona, crying and she said, um, "There's this uh, Great Pyrenees." It's this huge white Big, dog, yeah, like a yeah, hundred twenty okay. pound pure white dog. Yeah, that's um, only about fifteen months old. Him and his sister are in the kill shelter, because I guess some of the the people that own the brother and sister, uh, we don't know if they lost their job or they just couldn't afford to feed right. them or lost where they were living and had to move in. But uh, they had their own story. Okay, so, so I said, okay, I'll take them both. I'll go and have them. Mm. I, I don't really have a room for two two huge dogs in my house now. But maybe I can put them at Versailles because yeah. we go there every day while we're building it, and they can be the guardians of yeah. the queen, right? Right. Because mm. they they were the guardians of, of uh, the um, queens back in the day when the kings would go off back to battle day. and all that. Yeah. And uh, so the the female got adopted, and I got the male, and he was just he's such a loving I'm dog. I'm so in love with him. Savannah met him, um, and he just wants to lick you to death. You know, that, you was, know? That, that was one of the things that was kind of jarring or, or memorable about the documentary. It's like, oh, my God, they're, you know, billionaires. They've got this big, beautiful house. They've got dogs. But the dogs are pooping in the house, and, and, and you didn't have trainers. And, and people, they, they couldn't wrap their minds around that. Did you solve that problem? Well, Savannah's going to try to solve it for yeah. me. Oh, you're still trying to solve that problem. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because, you know, Tracy It'll never does, be solved. Tracy does Great Pyrenees Rescue, right? Yeah, so exactly, I yeah. talked to Tracy on the phone. We've been in touch with a different trainer, and we're going to work on that. Because that Great Pyrenees. I was hanging with Russ back in the day And I'll never forget this thing he'd say He would never say goodbye every time he'd walk away He'd say swirls, it's like sea